Man accused in the 2020 killing of IMPD officer Brienne Leith is now underway. Opening statements began about 90 minutes ago, as Fox 59's Russ McQuaid shows us now. The state of Alia Dorsey's mental health will play a significant role in this trial. The Marion County prosecutor wanted Dorsey to face the death penalty, or at least life without parole if convicted of killing officer Leith, but dropped that potential penalty when it became apparent that the defense was going to argue that its client was mentally ill or perhaps even insane. Elias Dorsey sat at the defense table next to his attorneys to hear witnesses describe what he admittedly did at the Wellington Square Apartments on April 9, 2020, when Officer Breanne Leith died of gunfire coming from behind a closed door as she responded to a domestic dispute with an erratic man. Two court-appointed doctors conducted a psychiatric review that found Dorsey was mentally ill, leading the state and the defense to convince jurors whether Dorsey is not responsible due to insanity, guilty but mentally ill, or simply guilty or not guilty. You pay close attention to what was considered and what was not considered by the doctors. And if you do that, you will see that the defendant was not insane back on April the 9th, 2020. What you will see is the defendant knew the difference between right and wrong. He has convinced his family is dead. And he's screaming in the bathroom because he thinks his family is dead. And then he comes out of the bathroom. This normally fastidious guy who really cares about his appearance with his pants down, it's not even white. And he is just so upset. And Aisha tries to reason with him, like, call your family. They're fine. They're wrong. But he's so convinced that she is trying to kill him. And right after they knock, he shoots through that closed door. The true value of a hearing, the sides know what they're talking about, but the judge really needs to have a chance to balance what the two are saying and ask the judge's own questions about how to strike the ultimate balance. Witnesses are expected to include several IMPD officers, a woman who was wounded by gunfire that day, she's the one who called police to her apartment, and also those two court-appointed psychiatrists. The trial is expected to extend into the middle of next week. At the Community Justice Center, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News.